Another player who uh, kind of stopped showing up as much, but he made it to top eight. He said, you know, I haven't been here in a while, but don't count me out. Yep, so of course we have the the code of honor, the handshake right before the the match. Here we go. I am going to throw out right now, Kalon is a quote-unquote net play warrior. Okay. Um, he is from Colorado, so he doesn't have the opportunity to make it out to many tournaments. Um, last tournament that he was at, he did make top eight. And it's just really great to see somebody that supposedly just only plays online to be doing so well in this environment. Yeah, just like that's these combos, he's definitely showing off his character right now. And shouts to he if Aegislash does the sword change seven times, he starts to get a speed buff. Yes. And just now, like he did a double um, change. Not because the attack would stack or anything, but just because he wants to get a little bit closer to having that opportunity to get double buffs. Yep, Alistair not afraid at all, showing us his Mewtwo, popping that EV, getting the attack buff right now, going in and out. We got no burgers, though. Here we go, closing out with that grab. KO finish, going to Alistair with the first round. That was also very good spacing on Alistair's end for the grab. He That was almost max distance grab. And Alistair also reinforcing that a lot of players have a Mewtwo that they use when they aren't comfortable using certain characters and matchups. All right, here comes Mimikyu. Now, Mimikyu's definitely going to connect here. Let's see what Kalen does. All right, waits for him to get up. Tries to mix him up here. Alistair with the response. Nice counterattack. Okay, jumping over. Go wow. for the cross-up. Yup. Went for it twice. It was that nice. Here we go. Nice just frame. Going to turn on the burner. Going to move in on him. Respect his shield a little bit. Best, best homing attack in the game, too. He can just keep going for it like he, that. Yep, if he wants to, especially. Wow. Kalon just saying, walking up and saying, come here, I'm grabbing. Woo. Turn that into a just frame. Really looking nice by Kalon. This is actually anyone's game, I think. Oh, nice, but Alistair just not the awareness right now. Good read and the double just frame, of course. That nice purple. Purple is such a nice color. Kalon sitting in rage with his burst meter almost running out. This phase shift is going to get him a little bit of that meter back, but now he has to make something work, and Alistair is just going to take it just like that. Just like that, putting putting uh, Aegislash to, to rest for this first match of the set here. Alistair taking game number one. Now, for those that don't know, Aegislash is, of course, one of the newest additions to Pokemon Tournament DX on the Nintendo Switch. He's actually featured uh, in the Wave 1 um, DLC pack, uh, later to be followed by Blastoise. So, for those that don't know Aegislash, Aegislash is, what is it, like Generation 6, I think? Um, Aegislash is a Generation 5 Pokemon. Generation 5, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I was off by one generation, so. Yeah, Sword and Shield Pokemon, definitely unique. Uh, one of the, the vast, amazing features of this game. We have a really beautiful roster, different types of play styles. Very diverse as well. Definitely diverse, yeah. Just, just having a game where Chandelure and Gardevoir are like two playable characters, you wouldn't expect to hear that in a game that is known as a fighting game. Right, 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 right. Definitely, definitely. So here and we go. Getting right into game two, though. Let's see if Kalon oh. is going to make any adjustments. He did switch supports to Snivy, probably to stop Alistair from doing cross-ups. Yep. All right. Good, good side strike there. Oh wow, Alistair definitely playing a lot. punch to grab. Yeah, he is definitely playing a little uh, with no fear. I would feel like this time. Not scared at all, throwing out whatever options he feels like right now. Nice grab, knowing his spacing and knowing wow. when to punish. That was beautiful. Alistair showing that he knows this matchup and he's going to, that's a perfect. Alistair just putting him through the wash and just throwing him into the air. Yeah, no. Oh, yes, definitely. That was really good by by Alistair. Just, just sh literally showing us. See, the thing with Alistair that I've recognized, definitely while playing against him in the past, is that once he knows that he's got this, he will he will show it in his play. He look at him. He's throwing out all these moves, no fear, look all these, these options look right at now. Mix-ups that he's going oh, for yeah. too. He's fine. He's chilling. This is this is the perfect. He has such a dominant lead. Yeah, perfect opportunity to say that 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 he is just he is chilling. He's sitting pretty right now. Look at wow. that. Wow, that was almost another perfect. Alistair making this look like Aegislash isn't a good character. He he is reminding the community that you know what guys, this is my game. Like 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 yes, I am Mr. Pokin. Look at that. Papa Pokin himself. Breathing it in. Also, just kind of showing that hey. You know, my Mewtwo isn't just a pocket character. My Mewtwo is good enough to be a main. Oh yeah, like again, Alistair, one of the, the, the one of the traits that comes with being known as Mr. Pokin 
He has a lot of knowledge with all these characters. He has a Suicune. He has a Weavile. He has a Libre as well. All right? He has, he has a, a Sceptile, too. Yes, he does. That he does, definitely. So, really familiar with the game. And we have a character change going to Gardevoir. Uh, does Kallon CPU? Gardevoir being, I think, one of Kallon's, like, I think that's his original main. Yeah, sometimes you just got to go back to your roots when, wow. you, uh, when it's necessary. Right now, it looks like it's working. This is the first time I think Kallon has had a lead over Alistair. Oh, wow. And Alistair letting go of shield there. Kallon doing a really good job trying to keep Ooh, him out. My. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to watch your feet. Look at that. Uh-oh. This is definitely a matchup that I've watched before. And once Mewtwo gets in, he does well. But Mewtwo has a lot of trouble approaching. Yeah, here comes Snivy. Like you're saying, really good. Trying to uh, um, keep him out from doing any kind of cross-ups. And it worked out for him in that situation. Here comes Eevee with a little bit of Eevee a keeping him a little bit alive. Oh, that's gonna, oh no, he was able to activate his shield in time. Really good stuff to Alistair. Alistair might be able to run this back just because his patience just now playing neutral. All right, here comes Callan with the burst activation. Oh, right, just like that, just poking at his shield, waiting for him to hit a button. Now, it seems like Callan CPU is feeling himself a little bit right now. Callan just saying, hey man, you think that you can just take me out, but it's not gonna be a 3-0. He's here to fight. He came all the way here. He's not in top four because of luck. Right. He is a absolutely phenomenal player as well. Okay, who got the win there? That was Alistair. Oh, Came got on, him on the feet. Also almost sitting on burst as well. If he wins another field phase, he will have burst. And Gardevoir has one of the strongest burst modes in the game. Oh, the drain punch. Here comes the bread and butter combos from Mewtwo. He is going to have to respect the Snivy. Ooh, just mistimed the range on that. Look Tried at to the go in. Damage of that combo as well, taking away more than half of what he had left. Oh, no. He wanted that fully committed Hyper Beam just to try to get him from that far. He's going to land the crit. And he is going to be able to close out this round, which is great for Alistair because now he's sitting on match point. Right. And Kalon has burst still. But he didn't have the opportunity to turn that round around with burst. Uh oh. Caught him at the end there. Tried to hit him with that hyper beam again. Oh, the just frame. Gonna move in on him. Another just Another frame. One. Oh, he went for a third. Okay, hold on. He he's reaching in the cookie jar a little bit too much now. Okay. Kalon backing him off a little bit. Oh, oh, and the first is gonna connect. Alistair landing the JY confirmed, but he didn't realize it. And he tried to go for the 5x, and now he's gonna eat all of this damage. Really good stuff by Kalon, recognizing that, oh man, you're gonna hit a button here. Well. Say hello to my burst attack. The bright side is Alistair does have half his health bar left, and he doesn't have to worry about Kalon activating Gardevoir's burst attack. Oh, try to go in with that Drain Punch from that far away. I'm not sure if that was too smart by Alistair. Kalon setting up his, his attack right now, his arsenal. Here we go. Backing off a little bit. That is going to land. Oh, wow. Alistair going to turn this into a bunch of damage. Does Mewtwo. Woo! Into the wall, getting that wall splat and the enough time to activate Eevee. Oh, he was he tried him that time. You gotta watch his life though. Alistair is still not out though. With one combo, he can steal this round. He definitely can, but Kalon Cup, Kalon CPU trying his hardest to bring this back and stay alive and put one up on the board here. Snipey to back him off a little bit. And you gotta watch that range because at that range is very dangerous. He could just try, go in for the JY cross up. Oh, there it is. that's what I was about to say is. Um, Kalon can just throw out Gardevoir's 4Y right now, and Alistair is so low that it can just take the round, and right. it did. All right, so here we go. So not so easy. Uh, is it going to be for, uh, for Alistair to just meet Azazel in the loser's finals right here? Cal Kalon CPU, you got to give the credit to where the credit is due. The man knew. He said, okay, I need to go back to what I know, what I feel most comfortable with. And sometimes, even in all other fighting games, that is a decision that the player themselves have to make. If you are comfortable with playing... Ooh, Ooh, just speaking, like that, speaking, speaking of, which, of going back to your roots, oh, Alistair man. saying, if you want to go to your roots, I'll go right back to mine. Man, we're, we're growing trees out here. Oh, man, Evo, let's go. 2018 Mandalay Bay. Alistair with Suicune. Taking the first field phase two, which is Aurora Beam straight off the bat. Now let's see if we're going to see a lot of new tricks just like we saw there. Suicune given a bunch of new um, attack and cancels. other cancels. He, Suicune now has a Blizzard cancel, and I don't actually recall if Hydro Pump cancel is new or not. 
I think it might be. But it's just, Alistair was saying that the Blizzard cancel is pretty decent. Oh, no, it definitely is. I've seen a lot of Suicune players make a really good use Ooh, of that. Nice going, tick throw. Going right for the tick throw. Trying to just get as much damage as quick as possible. And when it comes to a situation like Alistair's, this is the perfect time for him to just go for as many mix-ups as possible. Oh, yeah. Suicune. Especially switching characters. Oh, now yeah. Kalon has to get a whole new mindset for this matchup. Yep, Alistair definitely still in the advantage and the driver's seat right here. Look at that, 4 to 7. Moving up. Oh, try to hit him with the Miracle to catch him with that. Backing up with these water guns. Alistair playing it completely safe. Not committing or going into anything. Ooh. Nice. And just like that, man, we got Super Soakers for everybody, says Alistair. I do want to point out, um, I think one of the reasons why Alistair did 5Y cancel the Miracle is if the counter would have hit him, the Miracle would have made it so that he wasn't crit countered. So Gardevoir would not be able to combo or it would be less damage. Okay, I respect that for Which challenge. is just a smart option selected. Wow, just go Miracle right in the face. Oh, wow. He just totally stuffing out Burst. Not Kalon just in the worst position right now. His Burst attack is gone. He's eating all this damage. Alistair with such a dominant lead and oh, Burst. Oh, my. Hasn't taken a slice of damage yet. Sitting on 11 HP. All Alistair needs is just one poke. And just yes. like that, yes. right in the head, Alistair popping off right now. He is so happy. And the pop-off is well-deserved from Alistair, of course. Passionate as he is, passionate as he will, my man, our man, everyone's boy, is going to Losers Finals to meet with Azazel. But 